In this video, we're going to demonstrate the patch catalog feature that exists with the Oasis Framework Vulnerability and Patch Management Modules. The files that we're going to talk about today in today's demo are mostly the vulnerability associations, the CVE details, the product details. All these files are JSON files that can be used on the server to be able to load up a database, do calculations, be able to find more information on what's in the entire catalog. The vmod.dat and the vmod vulnerability off.dat are the current files that you would send to a client for doing detection. The vmod vulnerability off.dat is going to be a smaller version of the vmod.dat that does not include all the extra CVE data. The size of that file is significantly smaller, so if you decide to use that route, you won't have to send as much data to the endpoint to do detection if you're going to do detection on the endpoint. Okay, the files themselves are JSON files. The products are divided up. There's a product ID and it has the name and the vendor and any definition associated with it. You can see all this information is put in there for all the products that are supported. The other big file is the vulnerability associations. Inside the vulnerability association, there's a vulnerability association ID, and then it has the CVE that it's associated with it and the product ID. And most importantly, it has this range associated with it. This range will help you to be able to do server side detection. As long as you have the current version of the product between that start limit and the end limit, if your version falls in that range, then this this vulnerability is going to be applicable to your system. And so that'll be something you want to be able to report back. Okay, to demonstrate this a little bit more, we're going to run this sample program that I wrote. It has a couple of different parameters that we can pass in that actually help parse this information and show it a little bit easier. So to start with, we're going to go ahead and copy it over into our running directory here. And then the name of the program is catalog. And from there, we can see the tasks. So let's run the products. That gives us a list of all the products in the compliance engine itself. There's around 3,500 products that we have currently on Windows. The next task that I wrote is going to give us a vulnerability account of each of the individual products. So we'll run this vulnerability count. And this is going to use that association data. And from there, we found out there's around 595 products that actually have vulnerabilities associated with it. And as you look up here, you can see the numbers on the right are going to be how many vulnerabilities were found for each of the individual products. All right, the next task that I'm going to try to run is going to be dealing with the product itself. So let's use Mozilla Firefox and grab the ID, so this is the product ID for Mozilla Firefox. We're going to find all the vulnerabilities associated with that. So this is going to be all the vulnerabilities associated with Mozilla Firefox. All right, so there's quite a few vulnerabilities that have happened over time with Mozilla Firefox as we scroll up this big list. So this is where we're now going to have some fun with this product and we're going to go ahead, try to get just vulnerabilities after a certain version. And so I'll try passing in the catalog, the product ID and the version. And it looks like I missed actually putting in the task. So let's put the task in. All right, the ID for Mozilla Firefox is 44 and we'll put in version 90.0 and see what we get. All right, this shows us the CVEs that are applicable between the latest version and version 90. So just for fun, we'll go ahead and put in 93. As you can see, the CVEs are being reduced. And so the applicability is going down as expected as you go into a newer version. Now let's display a CVE data. To do that, we're going to run the catalog again. We're going to use the CVE detail task and put in the CVE ID. All right, we've got some information back. So we have the CVE, we have all the data that was traditionally found when you actually did a product vulnerability detection on the endpoint. This is now available on the server. And you can see in this particular instance, this CVE is indeed 
a CVE that affects only Firefox on Windows 10 and above. All right, this concludes the demo of the patch catalog and the vulnerability capabilities. Thank you.